What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. I hope everybody is doing well. Today, I'm gonna be taking you guys through another back workout. I know last video was a back workout, but today I'm gonna provide a little more commentary, a little more information on technique tips, exercise selection, things of that nature. I'm gonna show you guys part of my recovery routine in terms of keeping my body healthy. So I'm gonna be getting some deep tissue work done at Alpha Land by the Alpha Cairo. I always butcher her name. Uh, I think her name is Dr. Lakin Stamps, but for whatever reason, every time I think of her, I think of Dr. Lacken Ready. But anyways, we'll kind of get the interaction and process of that, show you guys uh, what that is. Give some insight on things that she thinks that I can improve on, areas that are a little more tight than others, areas of concentration that I kind of need to focus on going through this prep, just a little oversight. I have just a little insight. I have been dealing with a little bit of lower back pain and my legs are absolutely just they just been torched like the last three leg sessions have just been absolutely terrible in terms of the amount of output that i'm able to do so i know it's probably a combination of the intense leg training accumulation of fatigue and then also all the abuse that my lower body takes from the 40 minutes of cardio six times a week so i know all that stuff adds up and i'm just trying to be proactive so i can one avoid injuries and two stay healthy as long as possible and keep pushing forward and delivering the performance output levels that I need to be hitting every training session in order to just reach my goals and uh, you know just bring the conditioning that I need onto the stage. So I'm gonna go ahead and head out to Alpha Land now. I'll see you guys out the Alpha Cairo. That's it? Yeah. Uh, I think I'm just when's your show? Uh, hopefully like Okay. Hopefully, depending on how everything goes. Fair but enough. That's what I'm aiming for, like mid April. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah. Mainly my lower, like my quads and my hamstrings. Um, and I think that might be like kind of translating to lower back pain. I've always kind of had like kind of really tight hamstrings. I'm more like quad dominant in terms of like the way I stand. Mm -hmm. overall, so just a lot of things like that. Okay. So most of your discomfort is here, here, and here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And does it rotate where it is? Uh, it's worse? typically just on the right side. Okay. And that could be due to compensation. I did have uh, knee surgery a few, a few years back. So I've kind of always, uh, I tore my LCL. So I had LCL reconstruction. Oh, yeah. So kind of like after that whole process, I've kind of had like a lot of imbalances and that's mm -hmm. when a lot of my pains would be reoccurring. When I stay, yeah, when I stay on top of it, obviously they're not there, but. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Oh, uh, which knee did you have surgery on? My left one. Okay, and how long ago was that? Uh, three and a half years ago, so it's been a while, but I mean. Yeah, never really forget about it. Yeah, never really forget the same about it, that. sure, yeah. All right, um, so we will run through your range of motion. Okay. And then um, we'll do some orthos, make sure that, you know, nothing's going on, which with you not having an injury, there's no reason for it yeah, to be. Right. Um, and then I will go through and get you treated. More than likely, we'll just loosen up the muscles that are in here back here and here okay. uh, maybe throw some cups on just to really try to loosen it up okay. um, I mean you're pretty aware of everything that's going on because you have to be right yeah, so um, it's more so just assisting you with your prep and helping you stay in your tip-top shape yeah. so um, let's start with your range of motion um, we will start with your back range so, yeah on the right here only on the right side yeah right here okay drop your hands down bring your ear to your shoulder slide down towards your knee Anything with that? Nothing there. And the other way. Nothing there. Nothing noticeable. Look over your shoulder, kind of turn into it. Anything with that? Mmm. Just feels tight. On that uh, right side of your back or where? Uh, yeah, on the right side. I okay. kind of not not a pinch, but that's how I would describe it. Just like yeah. some pulling, excessive yeah. pulling. So wait, you had no experience in design. No experience. I mean, my dad, so my dad's actually a lead designer at Apple. Oh, I've so heard of that. I come from, I mean, I have the design background in terms of like what I've been exposed to, but sure. professional experience and I guess knowledge and skills. First been, hand, yeah, yeah. All self-taught kind of things that I picked up visually from being around my dad and his design uh, like circle, so. Man. Yeah, it's been pretty, pretty wild. It's been pretty crazy. Yeah. It's funny how things play out. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. 
everyone that I know that works at Anaka is happy. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Shali and Sam are absolutely great people. That helps. Yes. Is it both of them that own it or is yeah, it just Shali? It's okay. Shali and Sam. Okay. A lot of people don't know about Sam though. He's kind of more low key. Behind the of, scenes? Yeah, behind the scenes type guy. I'm gonna leave Mary's face alone. Okay. <laughs> Man, it's gotta make your dad proud, like. Yeah, he was super stoked. Relax for this me, leg, yeah. let me have it. Okay. So, will this be your first show since moving here? Yes, this is my first show in general. Oh! Yeah. What are you Not gonna do? Which division? Classic. Nice. <clears throat> I know. Big breath. Oh. So, did you go to Colorado with them? Uh, no, not Colorado. For oh, shame. <clears throat> Good. Okay. Oops, sorry. Probably start pulling these off and okay. then release them a little bit through here manually. Okay. Flip you over and get those quads. Perfect. So you said this piece isn't finished? No. What else do you want to uh, do? I need to add some stuff to the left side, I think it's my left side. Whatever side doesn't oh, have the roses. Oh, you want to do more of this over here? Uh, no, so I have uh, a couple of different pieces in mind. Okay. Um, Is that, uh, no, yeah. that's not. Mm -hmm. But my artist is back in California, so it's kind of- It complicates stuff, things. Yeah. Also too, I'm really in no rush to get it done because, man, it took so long to get this finished even where it's at. Oh, I believe you. Yeah. How many things is this? Uh, we actually got all this done in three very long sessions. Wow. Yeah, my last session was the longest one. That was 12 hours. Oh, I wouldn't have made it. Yeah, it Just was It was terrible. That's a level of commitment that I don't have. Yeah, it was absolutely... After, like, hour six, my back was just numb. Yeah. I was like, bro... I'd need so many snacks. Yeah. back a little bit mm -hmm. and then the goal would be to go do a show overseas in the UK to kind of run Whoa. like a peak week with him yeah and just so he can kind of have hands-on hands-on experience with like peaking me and all that right obviously it's good for content too so sure and I, 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 I I'm like obsessed with the UK like so spending some time in London after the show would be very nice right like threaten me with a good time yeah, yeah. absolutely guy was here yeah 
Yeah. Somebody mentioned um, something to him about like if you have a athlete that's in prep or whatever, he was like, "That's not my job." Yeah. Like very dry. He's very good though. Yeah. He was like, "My job is to train you." He yeah. said, "I encourage you to have a coach. I encourage you to have a chiropractor. I encourage you to have all of these things." because that's not my job yeah and I was just like good for you because yeah. I think I think there's a disconnect in with personal trainers uh-huh. in a lot of ways of trying to do it all yeah and so I really hoped that um, you know that was to me that was a very strong message absolutely. and I really hoped that some of our guys like heard that you know yeah, absolutely like, you're making your job harder than it has to be. And that's what he was saying. He was like, these aren't your, you know, these aren't your jobs. Yeah, these, those aren't your expertise, so why? That's it, yeah. Stop trying to do them all. Yeah, that's exactly how my coach is. He's like, he's very hands-on and knowledgeable with the things that he's obviously expected to provide as a prep coach. But yeah. anything kind of outside that, he'll refer me to either somebody that he has a connection to yeah. or resource outlets that I can kind of do. Big breath. guys that was the session honestly I wish today was a rest day so I could just go home and chill but we're gonna go ahead and get this back workout in full commentary breakdown exercise selection technique overviews why I do what I do gonna get warmed up get my pre in I'll see you guys at the first exercise All right, y'all, so for the first movement, we're gonna go ahead and start with the unilateral pull down. I always like to start my back workouts with some type of unilateral movement. I've mentioned this in the past. Just, help me, just helps me connect better. So I'm gonna go ahead and get warmed up here. Probably work up to two and a quarter or three plates. Haven't done this specific movement in quite some time. Throwing it back into the rotation just because I have good connection and good development with it. Rep scheme is gonna be one set, eight to 12, and then a back off of 12 to 15. Two working sets here, majority of the sets and reps that we're gonna be doing are two working sets, eight to 12 rep range, 12 to 15 reps. Also, I don't know what the fuck's going on at Alpha Land right now, but this music is fucking trash. So I don't know how much commentary I'm gonna be able to do throughout this workout. Might just be a traditional B-roll, fucking nice cinematic workout, but we'll see how shit plays out, bro. All right, y'all, so what I'm focusing on here is just really controlling the tempo, getting a full range in the stretch, and then as I contract, I'm holding it for about one and a half seconds, and then controlling it up. So controlling the eccentric and concentrics, which is not something I used to do so much in the past, but since working with the coach, my new coach, it's something that he really emphasizes. So having that, that tempo conscious, that time and attention really does help pay off. At first, I kind of just thought it was like, whatever, like people just talk about tempo, 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 just kind of one of those facades. But it does have its benefit and it's something that I enjoy doing now. So when I progress in weight, I only progress at rates in which I can move the weight efficiently.
All right, y'all, moving on to the second primary movement of today's workout. This is gonna be a seated row, performing this on the prime seated row machine. Any type of chest supported row though, will do. <clears throat> Rep scheme on this, it's gonna be one heavy set at six to nine, and then a back off from eight to 12. Again, just focusing on all those cues that I've been mentioning throughout the video. I'm feeling pretty good right now, the pump's pretty good. Definitely getting some work done by the Alpha Kairos helped in the workout. Not really experiencing any back pain right now, which is quite rare, especially with throughout this prep process. That is something I've been dealing with substantially, and it's just really fucking irritating. So the fact that I've gotten that taken care of, it's refreshing. It's refreshing to know for sure. <clears throat> Definitely could have gone heavier on that set, but you just have to, you have to just be cautious when you load and just know when to kind of make those incremental jumps, right? <clears throat> so I think I might bump up. I feel pretty good right now. I don't think bumping up is gonna affect me too, too much. So I'm gonna take for how I'm feeling right now, take the energy levels are very good right now and just execute them. Cause it's not, it's very rare when I have days where I'm like all on point in terms of performance output, so I'm gonna run that shit up. All right, I'm gonna count that as my top set. Gonna do a back off now. Won't really count the last set I did prior to this one. Just because I felt like I missed gauge on that, it was definitely too light. <sighs> Probably shouldn't be doing that all the time. I would definitely say, you know, work your, work your way up and wait to where you know your true top set is your true top set. Just so you're not doing extra volume, accumulating extra fatigue. Not really that important when you're in the off season, but in your prep, it's definitely a big factor you need to consider. So I'm gonna go ahead and move to another vertical movement. Typically you wanna do another vertical movement, but. I'm waiting for the prime machine that I use for my seated row to open up. So instead of sitting around, letting the body get cold, having to get warm again, I'm gonna just keep moving. Do a movement that's not so taxing, go higher volume, just to keep blood into the muscle and just keep the energy sustained throughout the workout. I haven't done this movement in quite some time. Honestly, quite like it. I always forget which one I loaded on. So if you guys are familiar with training on Prime, you know you can load different tensions. So it takes a little bit of practice. It's a little bit of sensibility when it comes to performing the movement. It's just not A to B. <sighs> back this off. Actually, no, I'll do another set with the same weight. Not gonna increase or go down here. Let's do another set, aim for eight to 12. Again, just really focusing on those points that I've addressed throughout the video. Time under tension, your tempo, full range of motion, proper technique, proper movement, uh, real strong internal focus on working the muscle groups I'm trying to target when performing this exercise. Ooh.
So movement cues on these, I'm just thinking about driving my elbow back. Slight thoracic rotation, so that just means a little bit of upper body rotation just to help me get in there and finish that contraction out. Full stretch, full range of motion as I always preach. Controlling the tempo. So tempo on this is four second eccentric phase, one second, one and a half second contraction phase, and just repeat that for every rep. Really focus on time under tension. It doesn't really make sense in the sport of bodybuilding to get under load and just move it, right? You wanna be connecting with the muscles, have as much internal focus on developing the muscle group that you're working during that session. I mean, there is a time and place, especially in the off season, where you can move those heavy ass weights because one, you have the calorie surplus to help aid in recovery, which is gonna to lead to less injury, obviously promote better recovery because you have a higher caloric surplus. But when you're in a cutting phase or prepping phase, those are factors you wanna stay away from especially the deeper you get into prep. The deeper your fatigue levels rise, the deeper your energy, the larger your energy levels deplete, the larger the deficit becomes. You just have to be more cautious and wary of those factors. Third primary, so this is gonna be a complete upper session. It's not just strictly back. I typically don't have specified days. It's, I run upper lower split. So this is my second upper session of the week, more back dominant. But once I complete that, finish that out, I move into my other, my secondary work, I guess you would call it for this workout. That's gonna be chest. So we have two movements here, one shoulder movement, and then two, two arm movements, one bicep, one tricep. I typically start off with the pec deck, but the pec deck that I like to use is in use, which is typical here at Alpha Land. It's been crazy packed lately, especially gym one, because it's absolutely freezing outside and gym two currently. So I'm gonna take a little more time to warm up since I'm gonna be starting out with the press. Press here, we're gonna be doing the hammer strength ISO lateral incline press, just to really help develop that upper shelf. I'm gonna take a little more time to warm up probably two to three feeder sets, just because the muscle group is fresh in this workout, hasn't been trained yet. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Working sets here, two sets per usual. One set, eight to 12, and then a back off of 12 to 15. with this exercise gonna move on to a pec deck now honestly nah gonna move into a shoulder movement I'm gonna give my chest a little a little rest bro this movement fried me for sure um, so yeah gonna move on to a lateral raise probably some type of machine or cable just take whatever's open Decided to do the pec deck. 
the shoulder machine I wanted for lateral raises is in use. So, kind of worked out, I guess. Rep scheme here is going to be higher volume, higher reps. 12 to, 12 to 15 reps, two sets. And then we'll move in to my shoulder movement for the day. And then my bicep and tricep. And that'll be it for the workout. Probably not going to do much talking the rest of this video, during the workout at least. I'm just super gassed right now. I'm going to focus on knocking this out with as much tension and focus as possible. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get into it. Just hit my first working set. I'm going to hit one more. to the arm portion of today's upper body session. Gonna start out with the tricep push down with the rope. When you do these, really try and look for a longer rope to just help with uh, just natural tricep extension. You don't want one that's short. It's gonna keep you tight, kind of limit the full contraction range that you could be achieving. So look for a longer rope. If you don't have access to like a Velcro rope, which is what I'm using now, uh, just get a standard rope, loop both of them together and do a dual rope tricep push down. Uh, gonna do three sets here, one set, 15 to 20, a heavy set at six to nine, and then a back off set of eight to 12. And then we'll move into the bicep movement, which is gonna be the same exact, the same exact rep and set scheme. Probably do some type of cable movement for that.
movement of today's upper session. It's gonna be a high arm curl, preacher curl, same shit. Rep scheme is the same as tricep. So one set, 15 to 20. Heavy set of six to nine. And then a third back off, 12 to 15. Really, again, just focusing on that internal connection. Just connecting with the muscle as strong as I can mentally. And just taking it through the popper ranges. I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out. It's been a crazy session, it's been tough. Felt pretty good, kind of dipped here and there, but I mean, for the most part, it's been pretty sustained, which is actually surprising because typically at this point in the week, when it comes around to the session, I'm pretty fatigued, pretty tired and pretty exhausted. And sessions kind of just drag out a bit, but I mean, hey bro, that's part of the process. You're gonna have good days, you're gonna have bad days. You just have to embrace them for what they are and just let them build you throughout the journey. y'all that's gonna be the end of the workout I'll go ahead and catch up with y'all at the crib close the video out give a quick overview of how everything's going but overall pretty good session I'll see y'all at the crib as you can see it is the following morning I'm gonna keep it absolutely real got home last night i was absolutely cooked from the session after cooking getting my meals down doing a little bit of work i had to do i just completely forgot to film the outro to the video so i'm doing that now um, i'll just give a quick recap on the session overall it moved pretty well good execution good precision um miss gauge on a couple movements by miss gauge i mean adding a little more load than I probably should have done. But um, that's just kind of part of the process. I tend to do that not too frequently. It is It does occur sometimes though, because <clears throat> as I mentioned in the video, when my energy levels are high and I'm feeling pretty good, I like to capitalize on that. And sometimes that just results in misengagement. So it is what it is, but overall, a good session, very happy with it pretty damn sore my hamstrings are absolutely toast from the deep tissue work i have a lot of bruising uh, which is typical when you get when you get deep tissue work done but i mean i feel pretty good today um but overall i hope you guys got some good tips of information throughout the video in terms of exercise selection i hope you guys enjoy the video i'll catch you guys in the next one i'm out